Hey, Nick here. How's it going? Uh, hey, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. I post, uh, I post, I post videos uh, almost daily. Uh, usually not on uh, Friday or Saturday, but uh, every other day I usually post one, one or two at least. Uh, they consist of some stories and some memories and some rants and some fun stories and some movie reviews. Um, tomorrow I will be seeing uh, Steven Spielberg's version of West Side Story. Um, the obviously the classic musical um, uh, remake, uh, his interpretation of it, and I'm really looking forward to it. I hear uh, very good things um, uh, from people who have seen it, and I've read some stuff that's very exciting. I'm, I'm actually excited to see it, so I'm seeing it tomorrow, which means I will uh, post a uh, review probably uh, Thursday night or possibly Friday morning. Uh, it will be posted. So, But I thought I'd talk about Steven Spielberg, since this is the big uh, Steven Spielberg movie. Um, and so I, I, I'm going to talk about uh, Steven Spielberg's movies and rank them in some regard. Now, I have to preface this by saying I don't think Steven Spielberg is as great a filmmaker as everybody else on the planet seems to think. Uh, never been a huge fan of his. Just haven't. Um, I think he's made a few great movies. Um... Uh, some really good movies and some movies that range from really bad to just mediocre uh, which I think are the majority of his movies. I've never been, I don't subscribe to the fact that Spielberg is you know, the be all end all, one of the greatest American filmmakers of all time. I, I obviously acknowledge his influence and uh, you know and, and you know the, the amount of money that he's made and how he's affected culture in a lot of ways, good and bad in my opinion. Uh, but I've just never been on the Spielberg bandwagon, ever, um, especially in the 80s. That was when I was kind of like, eh, not that good. For my money, the, the, the filmmaker that Steven Spielberg uh, has always aspired to be um, and always uh, will always be in the shadow of, as far as I'm concerned, oddly enough, is Robert Zemeckis. Uh, I think the kind of movies that Robert Zemeckis makes... Uh, are you know like similar in terms of what they're trying to do that Spielberg makes and obviously they've collaborated they're friends they've collaborated several times you know Spielberg produced uh, the first few movies that uh, that Robert Zemeckis made on their buddies and they've known each other for a long time I just think that Robert Zemeckis is a much more interesting filmmaker certainly a much more subversive filmmaker um, if you look back at even stuff like Forrest Gump very subversive movie he's saying stuff in there that Spielberg would never attempt to say uh, I think Zemeckis has his movies have been misinterpreted. Um, I think he's a you know, I think he's a rebel. I think Stephen, I think uh, Robert Zemeckis is a rebel, a subversive guy who just makes very commercially successful movies. Uh, and technically, I think he's a much better filmmaker than than Spielberg ever has been or ever will be. He's always been in the shadow of Spielberg, which is uh, you know understandable, I guess, considering Spielberg basically gave Robert Zemeckis his start. And that's a great thing. That's my favorite thing. My favorite thing about Steven Spielberg is that he basically gave Robert Zemeckis his start. That's what I love most about him. Uh, so I will take Zemeckis' stuff, even his biggest commercial hits. Way, like he, Steven Spielberg could never make a movie as good as Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Ever. Ever. He's come close a few times to making a movie as good as Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Uh, I, don't even think, I don't think Spielberg can make a movie as good as Back to the Future. So if you take the best work of Zemeckis... Spielberg can't do it. Now, he's made some really great films. Let me start with those. Let me start with my favorite Spielberg. Now, I will say this. The, the Spielberg stuff that I really love, oddly, I don't even know if it's odd, actually, uh, but it's not the most popular stuff. Like, the stuff that he's most revered for. Like, Schindler's List. I don't like Schindler's List. Don't think it's a good film. Um, I know it's sacrilegious to say that. Um, I was actually accused on the air at WGN years ago when the movie came out because I gave it a negative review that um, I, I refused to acknowledge that the Holocaust happened, which is a huge stretch for someone to say just because I don't like a movie. Uh, I just don't think it's very good. I, I, you know, I just don't. Uh, I, I think the acting is inconsistent. Um, uh, you know, I think uh, a lot of it is sort of, uh, is sort of cheap and manipulative. Um, there are moments in it, and it, and it, listen, the effect that it had, the, the, the foundation that it created, all important stuff, but as a movie, don't think it's that good. Um, I don't like, uh, 
Jurassic Park at all. Uh, I realized what it did in the world of special effects and CGI and how groundbreaking it was. Don't like it uh, very much. Uh, Saving Private Ryan, I think, has a great opening 15 minutes after that. You know, as um, predictable and corny as you can possibly get with, again, really inconsistent acting. So a lot of that stuff, you know, I mean, like the stuff that he's like really, you know, oh, these are the greatest movies ever made, Schindler's List and Saving Private Ryan, um, you know, Jurassic Park. Uh, they just, that his stuff doesn't work for me. And those especially don't work for me. They're very low on my list. Um, so let me start with my favorites of his. My top five Steven Spielberg movies are Jaws and Close Encounters, which can switch on a dime either way. Both of those are great films. Jaws, Close Encounters, Duel is number three. I think that's the third best movie he's made. Basically his first feature, TV movie, Dennis Weaver in a Truck, great film. Number four on my list of best Steven Spielberg movies, so it's Jaws, Close Encounters, Duel, 1941. And I know a lot of people hate that movie, and it was a massive bomb. I think it's his, it's a mad, 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 mad world, only better. Uh, I think it is hysterical. It's a great movie about that time period. Uh, it's an all-star cast. It's insane. It also, I think, uh, was the most Robert Zemeckis of the movies he's ever made because Zemeckis and Gale wrote it, which is why it's so good. That's number four. Number five is Minority Report. Those are my top five movies. I love Minority Report. I think Minority Report's a great movie. Again, not a movie that people immediately think is a great Spielberg movie. Tom Cruise is great in it. It's a great piece of science fiction, one of the best science fiction movies that Spielberg has ever done or has ever been made. And a lot more Kubrickian than his horrible movie, AI, which, you know, artificial intelligence, AI, artificial intelligence, which is a movie that he completed, Spielberg completed as it was started by, uh, you know, um, Stanley Kubrick in the very early stages, just the planning stages. And Spielberg made that. And it's a terror. AI is a ter- I wanted to put a gun in my mouth during AI. Um, and that movie, oddly, is not nearly as Kubrickian as Minority Report. So those are my top five. Uh, Jaws, which goes without saying, classic, amazing movie. I've seen it a million times. Close Encounters, um, which uh, is an incredible film, obviously. Duel, 1941, Minority Report. Those are my favorite um, Spielberg movies. On the bottom five, the worst movies ever made is Hook, which is absolutely unwatchable. The Robin Williams movie, the Robin... uh, the Peter Pan thing uh, with Robin Williams, uh, with Dustin Hoffman. Un- the, easily the worst movie he's ever made. Just a piece of crap. Um, and I think he wouldn't even acknowledge that it wasn't good. Uh, second from the bottom is an Indiana Jones 2008 Crystal Skull thing, which I believe everyone, even hardcore Spielberg fans, would acknowledge is a piece of garbage. Uh, I remember going to see that movie. A lot of us were very excited about it. A lot of my friends were very excited about it. Um, you know, who loved all three of the Indiana Jones movies. I don't love all three of the first three Indiana Jones movies. I don't like the one with um, Sean Connery, the Crusade, Last Crusade. Don't like it. Um, I like the first one a lot, and I love the second one. I think Temple of Doom is actually better than Raiders. See? A little screwy. But yeah, Crystal Skull, crap. Uh, AI was the third worst. Fourth worst is the Kick the Can segment that he did for the Twilight Zone movie from 1983. Uh, uh, Awful, where the old people turn into young people and play kick the can. Just every sort of fake, sentimental, schmaltzy nonsense that Spielberg has been criticized for, all on display in that 25 minute train wreck. Uh, so that's then, and then the BFG, the big uh, giant, whatever the hell that was, terrible movie with a great, though, a great sort of uh, stop motion uh, capture performance by Mark Rylance. Great performance, terrible movie. Uh, some of the other bad movies he's directed. Uh, Amistad uh, is terrible. The Tin Tin, The Adventures of Tin Tin, uh, which he did the same year as War Horse. Uh, War Horse, also a terrible movie, but not as bad as Tin Tin. The Terminal. These are bad movies. The Terminal, uh, with uh, Tom Hanks doing an indecipherable foreign uh, accent. He's stuck in an airplane, uh, airport terminal. Try to sit through that one uh, more than once. I dare you. I uh, mentioned War Horse, terrible. Going up from bad to worse, uh, going from worse to better. Uh, Schindler's List, again, not a good movie. Saving Private Ryan, first 20 minutes is great. The rest of it, awful. Uh, Munich, a really muddled movie. I admired what he tried to do with it. I like the fact that uh, it was very unspielberg like in terms of its handling of violence. 
and of uh, controversial uh, uh, scenes and situations and morality, the morality it was on display. It was something that Spielberg had never really done before. Didn't work, but he'd never really done it before, so I admired that. Jurassic Park would be next uh, on my list uh, for movies that I just I did not care. Um, for me, the, the effects are amazing, but it takes like an hour and ten minutes before a goddamn dinosaur shows up. And I, I totally agree with Jeff Goldblum in the movie. Are there going to be any uh, dinosaurs in your dinosaur park? Because that went through my mind exactly as he was saying it. Um, and then once the dinosaurs show up, after the initial like, oh, that's cool, the T-Rex attack, which is pretty cool, it turns into a, a slasher movie with the dinosaurs being like Jason. And they're even like, it's like they're at a summer camp. It was like watching a Friday the 13th movie, a terrible Friday the 13th slasher movie, but with uh, raptors instead of uh, slashers. Bad movie. Um, Color Purple, uh, which is really long and really manipulative and very schmaltzy. Um, There are performances in it that I really like. I think Whoopi Goldberg is great. And there are performances pretty much along the board that that I really admired in that movie. But I just thought it was... Jesus, pull off the gas a little bit on making every emotion over the top and the score, the John Williams score is just like sho- everything was shoved down your throat. Lighten up a little bit, Steve, on the on the on, on the emotion uh, manipulation in that one. Um, Lincoln, which is anchored by a great performance by um, Daniel Day Lewis, and there's some really great things in it. Uh, not bad, pretty good movie, but n- not absolutely not great. Uh, Lost World, which I prefer over Jurassic Park, um, which is the second of the uh, Jurassic Park movie. He didn't do the third one or the uh, Jurassic World and all that shit now. Actually, my favorite Jurassic movie was the last one, where there it was like a gothic horror movie uh, with, uh, what's his ass, uh, Chris Pratt, who was, I think, funnier when he was, I think he was cooler when he was fatter and funnier on Parks and Rec. That's just me. I like Andy, I like Andy Dwyer, uh, Chris Pratt more than, like, svelte, cool Chris Pratt. But anyway, Lost World, which I liked more than the original Jurassic Park, mainly because of the Godzilla stuff that's in it. I just thought it was a better movie. Um, what's next? Uh, Bridge of Spies, uh, which has some great performances in it. Um, although I hate Mark Rylance. Mark Rylance is fantastic in the movie, but he won the Academy Award instead of Sylvester Stallone for Creed that year, and Stallone should have won for Creed. I'm always mad at Mark Rylance for being so good. But Bridge of Spies, a uh, pretty good movie. Uh, Ready Player One, I actually liked. Uh, Ready Player One, I think, is a you know a movie that everybody hated. Again, another Spielberg movie that most people dislike, I think, is terrific. Uh, I thought it was really good. I liked the performances. I thought the idea was great. All of the Easter eggs are much more fun than that stupid Space Jam piece of shit that was just on HBO, where they jammed in all the stupid the cameos and all that crap. Um, but in Ready Player One, it worked. I like Ready Player One. I think it's a solid movie. I really, actually, really liked it a lot. Uh, E.T. would be next on the list of as we go from uh, bad to good. E.T., good movie, not a great movie. Um, I was not enamored with it uh, you know, as much as everybody else. I didn't think it was the greatest movie ever made. Saw it a couple of times in the theater. Watch it every once in a while. There are things in it that I absolutely hate. Um, and again, this whole theme of um, you know the missing father... Um, you know, which goes back to Jaws. Jaws is about like a, 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 f- a father who goes off to drink on a boat with some boys. A lot of his movies are about that. You know, Hook is about that. And a lot of his movies, see, he's got this Peter Pan complex. Um, and it was on display for the full two hours in Hook, but uh, it's in E.T. It's like there's no dad around, so here comes this little uh, alien to take place of dad. Uh, there are things in it that are great. Obviously, people love it. You know, at the time, you know, it was it was a, you know, people really loved it. I also hate ET for several reasons because it came out in the summer of 1982, um, and uh, everybody was all happy and they wanted to see happy ET like movies. And right in the middle of uh, the ET madness and the happiness of ET, uh, John Carpenter releases his masterpiece, The Thing, which is now considered you know great. People love it now, but when it came out, it bombed. And it was because everybody was like, "Oh, it's too dark. It's too bloody. It's too blah blah blah." Our aliens need to be cute and ride bikes. Fuck off. Uh, the Post would be next. I really like The Post. I think The Post is a terrific movie about journalism. Falls into that same category of really... Because I love movies that are about like journalism and and that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, reporting. I like Shattered Glass is one of my favorite movies of all time. All the President's Men is a great movie. I just did a video on, Chin, on, on uh, uh, The China Syndrome, which is a terrific movie about TV broadcasting. Uh, and you know journalism and the post is great. You couldn't you know I mean the cast is insane. 
Tom Hanks, Meryl Streep, everybody else. Uh, I thought it was his best movie in a long time. Uh, Sugarland Express, his first big theatrical movie with Goldie Hawn. Um, um, and uh, just essentially a long car chase. Very um, 70s in his influences in that. Like those drive-in car movies, that was his influence. I like Sugarland Express uh, uh, quite a bit. Empire of the Sun, um, anchored by a remarkable performance by uh, Christian Bale. Christian Bale, that is one of the best child performances I've ever seen. There are things in it uh, that get a little bit Spielbergian, meaning corny and schmaltzy and way too much. Uh, but overall, uh, great stuff in Empire of the Sun. I would have cut some from it, you know, because I'm better than Spielberg. I would have, I would have cut some of it if I were him. I wouldn't have gone so far with some of the schmaltzy stuff. But that's Spielberg, Captain Schmaltz. Uh, but again, Christian Bale, amazing. John Malkovich, amazing. Really, really great stuff in that movie. Uh, Catch Me If You Can, incredibly entertaining movie. Uh, Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio, just a really fun uh, movie. Solid all the way through, entertaining all the way through, based on a true story that's, you know, kind of hard to believe it's true, but it is. And I really enjoyed Catch Me If You Can. Always. Love, always. I think it's a really terrific film. Wonderful, romantic movie. Remake of a classic movie. Um, a guy named Joe and uh, John Goodman. Dreyfus, the beautiful and the wonderful Holly Hunter are in it. Uh, again, for some reason, uh, the schmaltziness of that movie worked for me. A lot of the times when Spielberg gets corny and forced and too much you know, emotion shoved down your throat in the cheapest way possible... Uh, for most of the time, that doesn't work for me in the world of Spielberg, but it worked in all ways. Uh, War of the Worlds. I think War of the Worlds is a great film. A great film. Uh, I, it, terrifying. I think it's absolutely terrifying. I like it more than the original, uh, the original, the big uh, uh, special effects groundbreaker from the 50s. I think Tom Cruise is great in it. I think it's a terrifying movie. I think it's a great allegory for 9-11. Uh, the effects are amazing. I just think War of the Worlds is a terrific piece of science fiction. And also, I think really scary. There are terrifying sequences in War of the Worlds. Like really scary, very suspenseful. I think it's one of Spielberg's uh, best movies and uh, the scariest thing he's ever done. Like really, I think War of the Worlds is a great piece of science fiction. Uh, a great movie about being, you know, a father. Uh, a great allegory about 9-11. And just really fucking scary. War of the Worlds. I love War of the Worlds. Next going up is Raiders. The original Raiders of the Lost Ark. 